no fear, students. I am here. The audio aspect of the anime is often the more subtle aspect of the presentation. The viewer tends to be more engrossed in what they see in front of them, with the effects of the music or sound just being taken in subconsciously. Take Attack on Titan Season 2 for example. It has one of the most powerful soundtracks in all of anime, but when I watched it, there were only a couple times where I really noticed the music playing. It was there all throughout it, adding to the powerful moments and the emotional impact, but it wasn't something that I, as a viewer, really noticed. Most anime is like this. At best, they have a few moments when the music is really able to shine, but most of the rest of the time is just forgettable background music. But based off this video's topic, you should not be surprised to hear that Boku no Hero is once again an exception. In fact, I would go so far as to say that this anime is the best example of how to utilize your soundtrack right. On its own, the soundtrack isn't the best. It has a few standout songs, but even they aren't as amazing as some of the other soundtracks I like. Of course, this is comparing it to my other favorite soundtracks, so to say that Boku no Hero is not the best still places it above 99% of the other soundtracks out there. With a show Cells, though is knowing how to use the right song at the right time in the right way. One of the best examples is the song You Can Become a Hero with how it is played when All Might said those words to Deku. It started off very soft, gently building up the power of the scene just as the viewer got a sense of where the scene is going. Then we have Deku's monologue with the music getting louder and stronger until All Might says those powerful words. Music has a way of tapping into emotions in a way that nothing else can and Boku no Hero masters using music to that effect. Another great song is All Might's theme, with the assurance and hope that he embodies being carried throughout the song. And this was fully utilized as a play when All Might burst through the door of the USJ to save his students. It amplified the sense of relief and hope that the students felt as seeing him burst through the door and saying his trademark phrase about being here. And then at the start of episode 12, I'm not sure what the song is, but the effect was even greater here, bringing to life all the emotions that All Might and the students felt. And then the show switched using the Hero Academia theme song, as All Might rescued the students. The song is a mix of hope and struggle which fits perfectly with the fight against Nomu. Then there is a brief pause in the music when All Might says that he's got this and then the song really amped up the inspirational hope part doing just what All Might did for Deku there. There's also the haunting music it plays as Deku worries about All Might only to see the truth that All Might is in trouble with the music then shifting to one that's conveying more of a sense of danger. I could go further with the episode talking about how each song choice and how it works but I think that would be redundant and it would only serve as an excuse for me to rewatch episode 12 though that is not an episode I need an excuse to rewatch. But since I'm almost done with the episode and I got to the final phase of the fight with Nomu I have to mention the power that You Say Run has. The song has a force to it beyond any of the others used here which perfectly matches the tone of the battle and how All Might is using all of his power here disregarding what it will do to his body. I also want to look specifically at Endeavor's theme song Just Another Hero. There is so much to this song with what it says about Endeavor who really is a fascinating character. He's someone who wants to be the best but failed so he is trying to achieve his goal through his son in a very unhero like way. But episode 17 of season 2 with the battle against the Nomus show that he is still a hero through him rescuing people putting saving people above just defeating villains. And these scenes had his song play. Now I actually don't think this song was used as well as most of the others in the show for an emotional impact but it is the lyrics himself of the song that matter here. The song tells the story of the failed hero that Endeavor is. He is extremely powerful, one of the strongest in the world, but he is not able to reach the top, instead outshined by All Might. And the song gets into the narrative, his desire to be a great hero, to save everyone, and also his own failures and imperfections. Early on, Endeavor is shown to be an antagonist to Todoroki and the ideals that Deku and All Might represent. But through this arc, we see that there is more to him than that. He still has the desire to do good, and his status as the number to hero says that he has saved many people across the years. The song talks about this duality here and I view the song not as a song that describes Endeavor but instead the ideals that he is trying to pursue. Another remarkable aspect of the song is how similar it is to the Hero Academia theme song. A song that can be seen as representing the students learning to be heroes. Then this song comes representing Endeavor, a hero who has lost his way, so in a way serves as a warning to the students of what could happen if they chase after their dreams of being a hero while losing sight of what truly makes a hero. 
The other oftentimes overlooked aspect of the sound is the sound effects themselves. And this is one of the reasons that the battles have so much power. Sound effects really convey the impact of each blow and show how strong these characters are. Again, the fight with Nomu would not have had the same power if we didn't hear every punch that All Might threw like we did. The impact of them hitting the ground or just the wind blowing from All Might's punches really conveyed how powerful all these blows were. And then there's the dub for the show, which is one of the greatest dubs that I have ever heard. I talked about briefly in my top dubs anime video based on what I saw in season one, and season two proved even more why I like the voice acting here. Deku's voice perfectly fits his somewhat timid personality, and they really nail him during his over-the-top emotional moments. Uraraka's voice actress also fit her personality well with her bubbling optimism, and after watching the last couple episodes in Japanese, I just found that I liked the English version better since the Japanese one felt like too high-pitched and childish. Ida was also great, his voice typically fitting his normally overly serious demeanor, but also working well for some of the more impactful moments when his character was pushed to the limit. And then there's All Might, whose voice actor delivered one of the best performances I have ever seen in anime. I will admit to being a fan of dubs in general, but putting my own biases aside, I really believe this is one of the shows that everyone should at least try dubbed, even if you normally prefer the sub version. And yeah, that's basically my thoughts about the music, sound effects, and dub here, all of which were incredible. I know this was another short video, but I feel it is very important to talk about when looking at the show as a whole. Production values may not be able to make a bad show good, but it can make a good show amazing, and that's what it did here. And next time we will move into one of the other reasons I love the show so much. I hope you will join me again there, and I will see you all next time.